I saw a few people call Absolute Batman woke. I read the book, and the only thing that could be considered remotely woke is its change made to Barbara Gordon. She's supposed to be a ginger, but here they made her black. Now, one difference between Absolute Batman and the normal continuity is that it's a what-if universe, kind of like the Ultimate series done by Marvel. In my opinion, the change of Barbara's skin color was a light change in comparison to the heavy changes done to Batman's origin. Also, this book is only a hypothetical, not a permanent change to the timeline. For several decades, comic book characters' races have been changed in adaptations. I did a poll a few months ago to see what my viewers thought of these changes and asked what race swap they found the most annoying. So I put Samuel L. Jackson as Nick Fury, Jessica Alba as Sue Storm, and Pedro Pascal as Reed Richards. Another big race swap was a change of Harvey Dent, who is traditionally white, to being portrayed by Billy D. Williams, who's most famous for portraying Lando Calrissian. Bishop from X-Men is also supposed to be an aboriginal, but in Days of Future Past, he was played by Omar Sy, whose parents hail from West Africa. And Bane in the Dark Knight Rises was portrayed by a white guy rather than someone from Latin America, which is how he was originally portrayed in the comics. There are different types of race swaps. The heaviest type is when a character's race swap defies historical accuracy or the mythos behind the origin. Then, slightly above that, is when it's an attempt to permanently change the character, a sort of 1984 revisionist history thing. Then the lightest type of race swap is when it's cast by someone who's kind of ethnically ambiguous and you wouldn't really be able to tell. And a little bit beneath that is a, a race swap where it does change the race and you can tell, but it doesn't really have an impact on the character. So when Chuck Dixon was asked about the changes made to Bane in The Dark Knight Rises, he didn't seem to be bothered that much, saying... Uh, the the movie version, the most recent movie version, I love it because it made him a household name. <laughs> so that certainly helps uh, me and Graham Nolan out in the uh you know with royalties and things like that because he's he's he appears more now he's more popular now than he's ever been uh, i loved bane's portrayal in that movie even though i was well aware that it it wasn't the comic book version uh he was still very very spooky that voice of his yeah i gotta go yeah. back and watch that again and he was a mastermind. He was a chess player. They showed him as an intellect, which I liked. And they showed him as, you know, incredibly physically opposing, which made, which him being smart only made him scarier. Chuck felt Bane's essence was still captured to some degree, and it seemed to satisfy people despite these changes. Other race swaps like Snow White are farther on the scale, as it's a German fairy tale, and she's described as having skin as white as snow and black hair. That isn't to say she has to be German, I think she could have come from anywhere as long as she fit that description. Also, I gave a pass to Billy D. Williams and Samuel L. Jackson because I'm a big Star Wars fan, though I understand others may not feel the same way. Then there's April O'Neil. Not only was her race changed, but her BMI, and she was made unattractive too. So there, she was changed in three ways, not just one. I think the race swap was actually the least egregious of those changes, and honestly, most people probably wouldn't have cared if she was at least still attractive and not super heavy set. Now, you may wonder why I'd put Barbara Gordon's race swap on this scale. I'd put it in very close to the middle. It's still kind of towards the unacceptable side, and that's just because I'm kind of sick of how anytime there's a ginger, it seems people just want to get rid of them and replace them. But since it's an alternate timeline, I don't really care, and to me, this actually seems kind of superficial. But let me know what you think in the comments below, and if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe, and have a great rest of your day.